Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, I know, but things happen. But anyway, welcome back. And today on TuTubes, it's tool time. And we're going to be working on the old DR650 here. Give her a little bit of love after being neglected for a while because of the triumph. Anyway, let's go and have a look and see what we'll be doing. So what have we got? Well, we've got a couple of new indicators to replace the stock OEM ones, which are rather bulky. These are a lot smaller. We've got a couple of new spark plugs to put in because I think the ones that I'm running at the moment are pretty much done for after my fuel, uh, my, uh, fuel mixture screw popped out. Um, and we are going to replace the 155 jet that I put in the bike and go back down to 150, which is the original jet that I put in when I first installed the ProCycle jet kit and I found that is the best one for my setup with the exhaust and what have you. So let's get to it. There was a fair amount of petrol in there. Now let's remove the float bowl. The ProCycle jet kit comes with some Allen key screws to replace the ones that come stock, making it easier to remove. careful with this screw. You don't want to lose it down a crevice. So be very careful. And catch it before it drops. Now we can expose the jet. This is what we're going to replace with the 150. We have to carefully unscrew it and screw in the replacement. Now, because I don't have the right tool for the job, I'm going to have to use this Swiss Army knife to get in at that angle to unscrew. Ugh. 
there we go. That's, yep, that's got it. It's probably going to be a little bit of fuel pop out. No, nope. we're all good. Now let's screw the new one in. See if we can use the tool to just tighten that up a tad. As you can see, the gasket and the fuel bowl itself is in good condition. So there won't be any need for any cleaning or anything for that. The tricky part is actually getting it to slide back on without having to move the carburetor anywhere. There we go. As soon as I switched you off, we got a perfect fit back. All right. So if that will stay like that, and then I'll put the Allen screws back in. It's very tricky to get this Allen key in here with the carby still sitting in its original position. But would you look at that? I've actually done it. I have never done it this quick before. Something's wrong. Okay, right, I'll do the other side and get back to you. If you're wondering how I modded my airbox, then um, there we go. Snorkel's out and I just drilled four holes instead of one big fat hole. This means I can put one inch grommets in there if I ever need to block it off. Okay, well, that's one job done. Let's, uh, let's move on to the spark plugs now. Okay, so we've got to remember which is which. This is going to be the front. And this will be the back. All right. Looks pretty good, actually. So these are just the NGK variety. I think it says there that they're gapped at, I think it says 1 16th, which is what we need for the old Suzuki DR650.
I'll just quickly show you my doorstop mod that I use to spread out the acerbis tank to stop it hitting on the radiator and radiator guard. So it's just a couple of um, small rubber bungs screwed into this plate here. And I've just wrapped it up in some gaffer tape just to protect it. And that helps spread out the tank and stops it rubbing. All right, that's two out of three jobs done. Now we've got the uh, indicators left and that involves cutting. And I don't like cutting anything, so we're going to have to do this bang on right the first go. Here we go, viewers. Okay. Well, we're committed. If you're wondering, viewers, this is a 14 mil. All right, a little more streamlined. Now to do the connections. Interesting. Both wires seem to be the same color. Well done, Suzuki. Now, I don't know whether we're going to get one chance, one chance only at testing this, but I do know the lights work. Let's see what happens.
There we go. Okay, there we go. All zip tied up and hopefully neat and secure. Bloody dogs in this neighborhood, I tell you. Right, one final test. Yep. So all that's left now is to tidy up the mess that I've made in the garage and put the bike back together again. So we'll see you shortly. All right, let's see if she starts up. Apologies for any background noise you may be hearing, but neighbors are mowing lawns and all kinds of things are going on. But anyway, we'll drown that out if this thing starts. Switch her on, a bit of a choke. 
Let's just test. Yep, that's working. Yep, that's working. All right. Now, maybe no fuel in the bowl at the moment, so it's going to take a couple of um, turns to start up. certain level of success but um, obviously the proof of the pudding is in the riding so um, it's going to be Vera Club later today so we'll take this thing out and grab a couple of beers to enjoy later Let's give it a spin. Seems to be good so far. And indeed it was good. With the bike back together and running well, I looked forward to a relaxing evening with a few beers, watching my favourite YouTubers. Thanks for watching.